If we weaken men, then if they become weak enough, they'll no longer be a threat. And I argue that point absolutely. I think the most dangerous men on earth are the weak men. And if you look at men who have no emotional control, because that's what they're trying to teach us to have. They're saying, listen, you're a man, you're allowed to just cry all the time and have no emotional control, no stoicism, just be, come, react to your emotions. You know what happens when you tell men to just react to their emotions? Anger, you have school shootings. Weak is not good. The people who shoot up the high schools, they're weak. You have rape, you have violence. That's what happens when you tell men to have no emotional control. And life is a very difficult process. You're not prepared for it unless you have the capacity to be dangerous. Those who have swords and know how to use them but keep them sheathed will inherit the world. You have to be powerful and formidable and then peaceful in that order. And that's not the same as being naive and weak and harmless which is what young men are being encouraged to be.